We all have faced escape artists and we all know how annoying it is to deal with. In this video I'm going to show you how to bag escape artist users just by not letting them get outside of the pocket. We're just going to contain them and we're going to make sure that they have to pass from the pocket which a lot of people just can't do. Speaking from experience here, I switched from Escape Artist to Hot Rod Master and it took me at least 4-5 to five games to not roll out because it's just a habit that you build in and if you can just keep them in the pocket they're gonna struggle so much, let's talk about how to do that. On office I'm in the Raiders playbook on which I'm doing an ebook right now by the way so make sure to check out those videos and highly recommend it. I'm gonna call PA Boot Over because that is the play that we all know and love for Escape Artist users. And on defense, I'm in the 46 playbook. That allows me to do is it allows me to go from 335 normal into 335 wide. And that is where I can get safeties at linebackers. And this is going to be just way too powerful. Make sure you have Mike Blitz 3 set in your audibles. That is crucial. And we're, we're going to call uh, 335 normal Tampa 2. Just any play works. Let's go. Now, how do you audible 2? 35 wide from here well you press square d-pad left once mic blitz three there you go that is the first step we need to make sure that we're in this formation not 35 normal then we're going to press our defense pinch our d-line slant our d-line inside spread our linebackers and qb contain that's five adjustments there that's crucial because now you see there's a huge gap between the linebackers on the outside and our interior alignment that means if I'm now using the offensive controller right here, if I want to double team, I, I can't get further to the outside than this. This is the furthest outside guy that I can get. And one-on-one -on -one QB contains are going to shed on the contain every single time. Only if the contain gets double teamed is when you're going to have problems. So now I'm going to block my tight end. My bad, that's wrong. I'm going to block my tight end just like this. I'm going to snap this ball and I'll try to get to the outside. And you see he sheds immediately even though he doesn't make the tackle. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hilarious animation right there. Even though it does make the tackle, you see that I get the shed immediately. We got a guy on him, and there's no way that I can get outside of that. One more time, audible to 3 5 wide. Uh, press defense, pinch D line, slant inside, and spread linebackers and QB contain. Simple as that. So now I'm going to spy my guy on defense so I don't have an extra rusher. I can't con uh, double team once again. And you see, I roll to the outside, and my battery is close to dying. But you see, get a shed. Easy as that. And then at that point, it's just about making defensive adjustment, adjustments. And here's something that I'm going to give you guys. So if they're not going to be able to get outside of the pocket, chances are that they're going to get a shed. And how, how do you maximize the opportunity of you getting a shed? You need to work with play types or player archetypes, so to speak. Generally, interior linemen are more so power builds. They don't really know how to deal with finesse guys. So if somebody's a finesse rusher, if somebody's a speed rusher, put them in one of those three spots. I have three finesse rushers right here because I'm just going to get better shots than that. Uh, that way. Promise you that. On the outside, you just need fast guys that can chase down quarterbacks. That's basically it. But these interior guys, they're going to make sure that you get uh, pressure up the middle and you can escape outside because of the contains. Same uh, same deal on the left, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to um, just going to put this guy in his pie. You can see me. I'm going to block the tight end. I'm going to cancel a play action. I'm going to try to get outside of the pocket to the left. Even though we break the sack right there, you see that the guy gets off the block. And that's not going to happen in Ultimate Team. Trust me. Josh Allen in regular teams, he's a beast. That's not going to happen in Ultimate Team. So don't worry about that. Just so you know, this works on both sides. They can't get outside of the pocket in any way, shape, or form. Just make sure you have interior uh, speed rushes in the interior spots to make sure that you get the best chances of, of sheds. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, Subscribe to the channel. Please do that. We just hit 900 subscribers. I want to get to a thousand so bad. So if you appreciate what I'm doing, subscribe. Also, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can, of course, ask me in the comments or ask me on one of my, one of my socials. Just hit me up on Insta or Twitter. I'm sure to respond there. Links to that are in the description. Also, did an ebook way back on the Bunch Offset. If you want to check that out, the link is also down there as well. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Check out some of the other stuff on my uh, channel. It's really good stuff. A lot of people don't put out this qu high quality content. I'm out here doing it for you. I appreciate you very much. Till next time. Goodbye, guys. I just grabbed this roll of tape. I don't know why. Anyways, peace out.